So imagine you're hanging out in your room, you're chilling, you just finished your day and you're resting. Your body's probably digesting. All of a sudden your roommate comes in and is like, are you ready for the A&P exam in an hour? And you're like, what? I didn't know about it. And you start to stress. Um, that is That stress response is called fight or flight. Um, so these are actually these two different opposing, typically opposing ways of being. Um, it's actually physiology that's related to what's going on in the environment and how your brain interprets that is the, regulated by the autonomic nervous system. And the sympathetic nervous system is going to regulate that fight or flight kind of feeling, all the physiology that goes along with that. So what happened? Your heart rate went up. Your blood pressure went up, digestion stopped. You probably don't feel that, but um, glucose metabolism breakdown occurs, um, glycogen breakdown to make glucose. All these things happen. The ones you feel, maybe sweating, um, that you feel, and along with emotional states, versus when you were resting um, on your bed or whatever, you had a lower heart rate. Um, your body was digesting, uh, glucose was being converted into glycogen and fat for storage, low metabolism, rest, and digest. I actually want to point out something I just said. Digestion is increasing, but metabol metabolism is decreasing. Those are different things, right? Digestion is absorbing nutrients from your food. Um, breaking down and absorbing nutrients, just getting into your body. Metabolism is using that food to produce ATP to use. So, um, so autonomic nervous system is one of my favorite topics. It's super cool because it integrates a lot of what you know already. What this means is if there's some things that you don't feel as comfortable on, that might come back and you might need to review them. So spinal cord anatomy, neurotransmitters um, and their effects. Now I will review some of that and tell you what you need to know about that. Um, what else? Some other things we've talked about before. These is kind of gonna be integrated here. So this week we'll talk about first review the nervous system and how the autonomic nervous system fits in with the rest of the nervous system, those divisions. We'll talk about anatomy of the autonomic nervous system in terms of coming out of the spinal cord. It's gonna be differences for the parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system. So two different anatomical um, pieces to learn. And we'll talk about chemical signaling in the autonomic nervous system with the different types of receptors and hormones and neurotransmitters involved. Um, and then talk about how it works together. Um, and then at the end, look at a reflex. So sensory processing coming in and the automatic response via the autonomic nervous system that occurs that will bring everything together, I hope. So get excited. <laughs>